Hey guys, and welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we made a complete circle around the battle area. Or whatever you want to call this island. So now we're going to be taking on the gym leaders, and you guys are going to flip. Because <clears throat> we have Rourke, Gardenia, and Maylene, and I was going to take them all in order too. So we're going to start off with Rourke. Ooh. <laughs> I was actually all in one breath, so... Anyway... I went down to the underground every day. I toughened up my Pokemon by digging up fossils non-stop. That's training. Can I show you how tough I made them in battle? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have a rematch with Roar. Turn up the volume to full blast. So here we go, gym leader rematch time. And he's got five Pokemon as opposed to a few that he had last time. Anyway, he's gonna start off with this Aerial, aerial Dactyl. This thing has Earthquake. So, I'm gonna just hit it with Surf. Aerial Dactyl tied for being the fifth fastest Pokemon with Crobat and Jolteon. And he has pretty high attack power too, so I don't think he's gonna really... Yeah, he's not gonna take this well. But, it kinda has pretty bad defense. Oh, well, its defenses are below average, like just below average. But if we're lucky, that will happen. So goodbye, Aerial Dactyl. Who's going for next? Golem. That's a really bad choice on your part. It looks like somebody's Geodude evolved. Surface. This Golem probably knows like Thunder Punch or something, which is why it's running out. But still, that's a really bad choice. Are we going to sweep him? Are we going to sweep him? Oh, critical hit! Wow, that's time. That's times twelve damage. Okay, Rampardo. Let's 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 see how far you can go. That critical hit was times 12. <laughs> level 63. That's Gym Leader's highest Pokemon at level 65. And I forget. Oh, what? It's faster. Yeah, Aqua Blast isn't going to survive because when Pardos has the highest attack out of any non legendary. Okay. Well, that is why we have Pokemon like. Should I send out Star Raptor? Nah, I won't. Because I was thinking about, like, to the first gym battle we had with Roar, for the first time we fought him. And I think it was, like, when Star after was Staravia, and it took, kept using Moon Attack, and it did so much. Now, if this Rampardos lived through this, I'm pretty screwed. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Bye-bye. Probo Bath. The thing is Rock Steel type. It has pretty good defenses. They're averagely above average. So they're pretty well above it has a weakness it has a quad weakness to ground and fighting. And Lucario has Earthquake and Aura Sphere, but I'm just gonna spam Aura Sphere. I think this thing has Zap Cannon, but that has a 50% chance of hitting. Or it might have discharge. And that thing looks like Mario. Anyway, he has a Tyranitar. That's his strongest. I was gonna. This thing is a Rock Dark type. But Rock is weak to fighting. Dark is weak to fighting. So or a Spear for the win. So we went through this whole battle only losing Aqua Blast because his his Rampartos was unexpectedly faster than I thought it was. That's pretty damn good. Oh, what? 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 That thing should have died. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, oh, fire thing. Okay. At least he's taking it easy. Don't critical me. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have balls right here. I'm, I'm, I'm going for the ballsy move. Yeah. Archer barely live. Okay, good. After that thing, after having that thing somehow survive, we defeated Leader Rock again. What? what? This can't be. I buffed up Pokemon. We lost control there. Next time, I'll have to challenge you to a fossil digging. Yeah, you would win that. Okay, so next time, we're going to take on Gardenia, and then after that, we're going to take on Maylene. So, see you guys then.